Good morning, dragons. I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the news of Camelot. Today is Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, and it's kind of a cloudy day outside today in Flame. I have about 72 degrees. Might rain a little bit later. Actually get some thunder. Who knows? But I found a purple shirt, and I'm wearing my purple shirt in honor of April being the month of a military child. If you have any purple in your closet, dragons, put it on. Show your support for all of those families and all those kids that are in the military and have quite a lot to handle and juggle when they have to move around and go through different obstacles in their life. Show your support by wearing your purple. That brings us to this day in history. And Flame and I had a lot of fun with this. We were looking for different things that might have happened on April 7th. And 80 years ago today, on April 7th, 1940, the United States Postal Service gave us the first ever stamp honoring an African American. Flame, do you remember who that is? That's right, Flame. It's Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington was actually born here in Virginia in a place called Hales Ford, Virginia. And he wanted very badly to get an education. So he worked very hard, Dragons. He saved his money and he ended up going to the Hampton Institute, which is today called Hampton University in Virginia, when he was 16 years old. He got very smart very fast and quickly became a teacher. And then an opportunity opened up where he could be a principal. Check that out, Miss Flaherty. And he moved to Alabama and he founded Tuskegee Institute, which today is known as Tuskegee University. And he encouraged all of his students to be very hardworking and very self-reliant, but all of those students were African Americans and they learned a lot about industry and agriculture. That's a good idea, Flame. So, Dragons, Alabama is right here. So Booker T. Washington moved from Virginia to Alabama and formed what today is known as Tuskegee University. And Dragons, did you know that Tuskegee University is the only college campus deemed a national historic site? Isn't that cool? And there, Dragons, you can see the stamp honoring Booker T. Washington. Ten cents, a lot less than it is today. But it was great because 25 years after his passing, he was recognized the first African American to receive that honor of being on a postage stamp. So we honor him. We honor all African Americans that were pioneers. But Booker T. Washington, certainly someone very special on April 7th. And that brings us to... Dun, da, 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 it's time for the birthday box. Do we have any dragons you think celebrating a birthday today, Flame? We do. Fantastic. We have Naif Alatabi in Miss Batchy's class. Way to go, Naif. And Ferris Muhammad in Miss Adam's class. Good job, Ferris. Happy birthday. And on our staff, in kindergarten, Miss Rupa Mohan. Happy birthday, Miss Mohan. That's awesome. Three birthdays, Flame. Do we have any mail? Let's check it out. Let's see if we have any mail today. Whoa! Busted out of the mailbox. That's fantastic. We've got two letters, Flame. Here we go. Dear Flame, I watched the news show this morning and saw you have books to share. Can you please send me one? I think a book club would also be a lot of fun. Thank you for the fun show every morning. I love watching. Your friend, Charlotte Smart. Charlotte, you want a book? Okay. Let's see what this letter says. Dear Flame, I love your shows. I have a joke for you. What happens when you cross an angry sheep with a grumpy cow? An angry sheep with a grumpy cow. A bad mood. That's pretty good. <laughs> May I please have a copy of Diary of a Wimpy Kid? I have been reading through the Stink and Judy Moody books and I have just finished the last one I owned last night. I'm looking forward to starting a new series. Hope you have a good spring break. Thank you for continuing the videos. From Nate Hines. Two people need a copy of a Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Flame has his copy. And 
Charlotte, Nate, we're getting this to you in the mail right away. A Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Claim you want to start a book club? Okay, let's do it. So two letters. We'll put that back in the mail for right now. Miss Flaherty wrote us. What does Miss Flaherty have to say today? Hi, dragons. Good morning. If you get a chance tonight, look up at the sky and see if you can spot the moon. It's going to be a full moon and the biggest of 2020. I hope the clouds stay away so we get a chance to witness it. I know I will be looking. Stay safe, Miss Flaherty. Flame, we love the moon. We love the moon. So it's going to be the brightest full moon of 2020. Flame, how many full moons do you think we have in a year? It's a trick question. No, it's not a dozen. It's actually 13. Just the way that the lunar cycle works, we get 13 full moons in a year, and tonight it's going to be the closest to Earth's orbit of any full moon this year. So dragons, we have some homework. We can write flame. Eh? If we write flame, and at the top we write dear flame, and you want to be in the book club, let us know. We'd be happy to send you, we'll mail you a book. We now have a few more copies that we have to mail. We can wear purple for the April month of Military Child Support Month, right? We can go outside and look for the full moon. We can write a poem. We have all these things we can be doing, dragons, which is great. So if you get a moment, take a breath and see if you can get something on our agenda for homework. On behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. Good luck finding the full moon and we'll see you tomorrow, dragons. Thanks for tuning in.